Now, if the problem is presented to us as um, a series like this, a, a, in a sigma notation, then it's all well and good knowing that you can substitute in r is 1 and then all the way up to r is 105 and then add them all together. But that process is ridiculously long. Okay, so how are we going to go about uh, evaluating this sum? How can we use the formulas? Okay, now there are a few different ways of doing this, um, but essentially, what we need to know if I'm going, if let's say I'm going to use that formula there, is I need to know what A is. I need to know what L is, and I need to know what N is, OK? So A, the first term, is when R is 1. So that's 14 plus 8 times 1. And so that's 22. So I know that the first term is 22. The last term is when R is 105. So 14 plus 8 times 105 is equal to, well, 14 plus 8 times 105 is 854. And n is how many terms there are in the series. Now we're going from r is 1 up to 105. And so there must be 105 terms in the series. And so we can now use that middle formula to say that what this is 1 half times n, 105, times... Uh, a plus L, okay? So 22 plus 854. So 1 half times 105 times 22 plus 854. And that gets me 45,990. Now, first of all, in order to do this, in order to evaluate that sigma, that series, in order to use these formulas, it had to be an arithmetic series. Now, I can write down an nth term in there, which would make this not arithmetic, and so this process wouldn't have worked. Okay? It is because the nth term, this 14 plus 8r, because that is linear, because it is an arithmetic sequence's um, nth term, that is why this worked. Now, secondly to this, if you have one of the silver Casios, the FX991ES+, then it has a sigma notation button, which is in the top right-hand corner. OK, and you can use that much like you would one of the integral, but uh, use the integral button. Um, now, in general, I would usually only use this to check. OK, uh, and I would show as much working as I need to for the problem. But if it is something like this, I would try to use this method to show uh, the working that is required to get to that answer. And then you can check your answer using your calculator.